everyone, welcome back to another vlog. Good morning, good noon, or good evening. Whatever time you're watching this video. I hope you enjoyed the longer than usual montage. This will be a short one. Well, I'm planning to make it a short one. It's a review on this jersey, cleats and pedals. Okay, so first things first, let's talk about the price. This kit will set you back. The top is 1,995 pesos. The bib short is 2,000 pesos. Uh, this puts the kit in a very competitive price point of the local makers, but um, we might have ourselves a winner. I'm gonna tell you more about it later. I'm gonna have to finish this workout first. I also wanna say that this vlog isn't sponsored by cleats and pedals. They did, however, send the product for free for me to test and uh, the owner explicitly said that um, you can give me positive or negative feedback so that we can improve. They are a relatively very new brand but so far with all things considered they sort of hit the jackpot on this one and if however you want products that I have certified to be very good cycling kits um, you can buy Suke you can go to www.suke dash sports.com use promo code christian lim or you can buy uh, skull mountain products go to the weekend bike and use promo code christian lim i already have extensively um, tested their kits uh, I, I personally guarantee their quality and by buying you also help this channel so uh, please do check them out and stick till the end part of the video uh, for the rest of the review of cleats and pedals all right so to continue we're in our bedroom this room has the most ample light at this time of the day and since we're doing some product review it would be better if you have a clear picture on what we're getting here so um this is it this is the cleats and pedals uh, jersey as you can see or maybe not it's made out of very soft uh, fabric uh, the sleeves are also very very soft it's very very breathable this is the third time I've used this on a ride. Um, so far so good. Uh, in all three rides, it has been very hot like this. And um, it stayed very, very comfortable. It kept me cool, so it's a very good product. The end of the sleeves are like this. I don't know what is this called, but uh, it's not an Italian band. I don't like Italian bands. They are super warm on your skin. Uh, there's no air circulation. This one is... Uh, this one is perfect, especially in our hot climate here in the Philippines. And uh, I'm going to show you a little bit of a comparison. Give me a sec. I didn't want to make this comparison because as you might know, I am supported by Ascal Monton. You do get a discount if you buy this in the weekend bike. But if you see what I'm seeing, they are 99% the same jerseys. If you can look closely, the sleeve material is the same. The end hem or i don't know what the end of these sleeves are they are the same the cloth is the same it's soft and stretchy and very breathable uh, let me open them up and if you look at the materials closely they are absolutely the same they have this uh, circular thing at the end of the stitching to prevent it from you know damaging the fab the very soft fabric uh everything's the same you have this breathable mesh and at the bottom of the jersey you have this reflective part right here uh, on the strip um, you have the same secret pocket here as you can see this is a secret pocket this is a secret pa pocket the only difference that i can see is that the stitching of the skull monton is a little bit softer it's a little just a little bit better um, the zippers are of better quality as you can see uh, these ones from skull Monton is a little bit more robust than this one that being said it's 99% identical uh, the skull Monton is priced at 2995 that is 1995 so there's 1000 pesos difference uh, you get a little more premium touch with the skull mountain as I've said. The stitching is a little bit better. You get better zippers. You got uh, prints inside the jersey which you know uh, which adds a little bit of touch. But at 2000 pesos this is definitely a steal. I hate to compare and I don't want to sound biased but those little touches from skull mountain if you're willing to pay the extra to get a little bit premium 
um, I think it's worth it. But if you are in the ballpark of the 2,000 peso category jersey, I don't think anyone at that price range, which starts at uh, 1,500 to maybe up to 2,500, you can't beat the value on this. Uh, it's incredibly well made. It's incredibly well priced. You can't get a better jersey than what cleats and pedals are offering in the market. So the only downside that I see in this product is the range of choices that you get in terms of colors. So their top of the line premium one is like this. The only this is the only combination that you get: pink, white, and black. So if you like it, it's good. But if not, you don't seem to have a choice as of now. They are relatively a very new product. We're gonna have to wait for the upcoming products. They do have a similar one like this at a much lower price at 1895 at $1, uh, They have a lesser material on the sleeve, but it basically is, is almost the same. The quality is almost the same. And as of now, we're limited with those two colorways. I've been told that uh, the other products are coming and another downside as well is that they don't have socks as of now they don't have cycling caps like skull mountain so uh, it will be pretty difficult to pair them if, if you are one of those cyclists who wants to match your kit to your socks to your cycling cap to the color of your bike uh, as of now it's still very limited but i'm pretty sure that will be treated with a wider uh, array of options in the future but as of now you'll get only this the black pink all right folks this is the bib short let me hold it against the light as you can see, the straps are highly breathable, so it really adds comfort to the bib shorts. And um, I believe this is the stealthy star of the show for cleats and pedals. It's in all black. It doesn't, it doesn't look as flamboyant, but I tell you, they are of very, very good quality. As I've said, the straps are highly breathable. The pads are uh, in incredibly good quality. They have a very good bounce to them. They're super comfortable. Uh, I see myself uh, picking these up for my long rides. And um, to add to that bonus, it has pockets on the side, on the other side as well, because this is a cargo bib short and you have two little pockets at the back. So including your jersey, you now have a total of seven pockets. So if you have an incredibly long ride in which you have to carry a lot of things, then uh, it's a big, big bonus having the uh, cleats and pedals uh, bib short. And the reason why I believe that this is the star of the show for cleats and pedals because um, it is incredibly well priced at 2,000 pesos. A local maker who's based in the island makes an incredibly good bib short like this one with with four pockets uh, they are of good quality but it's priced at 3850 pesos this is almost half at 2000 pesos both are of high quality but this one is priced at half so it's an incredible steal and it's in all black it doesn't have a very big logo of the brands so you can buy some premium top jersey like rafa black sheep cycling and you can pair it with this it's in all black the logo is black on black it isn't really loud so you can easily pair this with any top so that's an added bonus so if you're in the market looking for an all black bib short that you can pair with a t-shirt or a polo shirt or your favorite cycling top it is very hard to find a, a bib short that's as good as this and as cheap as this this vlog by the way is sponsored by kobe weld ph and all battery cebu thank you so much for supporting the channel and to everyone watching this vlog thank you so much for supporting this channel as well and thank you so much for watching i will see you soon in the next vlog and i hope you enjoy this little review of cleats and pedals if you want to order Check out their Instagram. I will link it in this video. That's it for today. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.